Okay, so today we're dealing with a bit of a newbie problem. Um, we have the Corsair 230T case, and we have the Corsair H110i uh, liquid CPU cooler. Now, if you go to the website and you look up the case and you look up on the tech specs, you can, I mean, basically Corsair is pretty good about identifying which coolers which work with which um, case, and the 230T cannot handle the... Uh, the size of this this cooler be basically the 280 millimeter is not going to fit. I mean, obviously, I, I I attempted to do something here where you can see basically I can fit it, but I had to take out my power connector and I had to take out my memory, and then typically here you would have the fan. So there's just really not not enough space up here where I want to put it. Um, maybe I could take this out and remove these fans and put it over here. That might be one solution, but. Um, Course here does not suggest using the 230T with the um, H110i. So um, I'm basically going to you know, get a new case that has more than adequate room. The 230T case is a good case, and we're going to save that for another build. So for now, it's a newbie live and learn time, and we're going to have to uh, wait for our new case to arrive. Okay, so this is our new case, the Corsair 780T. It's a much larger case. Um, it's one of the uh, three cases the Corsair has that can handle the uh, H110i. And uh, you can see I already have installed the uh, H110i, at least the, uh, I haven't, don't have anything else in there yet. Um, so basically, um, the rest of the, this video snippet, we're going to go through how to install this. But of course, it's a lot easier once you have the right case. Okay, so we're going to show how to put the uh, Corsair H110i uh, together. I'm choosing to have the fans as intakes, so basically imagine that this is the top of the case, the air is going to be sucked in to the case this way. This uh, apparatus will be coming down around here and connected to the CPU here. Um, and so that means that we're kind of flipping this thing around and uh, basically what I want to do is, uh, I, th I think what I want to do is I want to have the wires so that these wires here, I don't want them so close to the motherboard, I want to have them out further. So I'm going to flip this around this way, and flip this around this way, and I think that will work as we flip this around. That gives me a little more slack to kind of plug into any um, any of the connectors that I need to connect to. So anyway, so let me get started. I'm going to use these, uh, these screws here, which are the D screws over here, and I'm going to basically just connect the uh, screws to the to the cooling apparatus if I can get this right okay so once again I'm going to start just by uh, gradually I'm not going to tighten anything down initially but I'm going to get everything started and I'll make the job a lot easier Of course, it's a heck of a lot easier when you have the right case because then the whole apparatus will fit. And then it looks like we will be able to finish this build within the next uh, few videos. Okay. So, once again, this, you know, this is not a complicated job. It's really just a matter of how do you put things together, you know, getting the right case. So, the 780T. Is definitely the right case for the H110i, and uh, then it's just a matter of hooking things up so that the uh, the fans bring air into the system through the um, through the refrigerant. Really, it's uh, the coolant acting as a refrigerant for the uh, CPU. Okay, so we're just basically finishing up and making sure that things are snug. They will not be super tight here. We're not trying to strip anything. Um, we're just trying to make sure that things are basically not, just nice, not quite done yet. So just kind of want to go around 
and make sure everything is just tight enough that you don't really have your fans. You don't want to add to the fan noise that uh, you might potentially have. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so we're about to uh, to mount the uh, H110i uh, Corsair cooling system into the uh, Corsair 780T case. And uh, just wanted to show you this view from the top. Um, you know, when you first get this, it's a little bit weird because you, you push down and it kind of clicks in and out. And of course, that's so you can gain access to the top. So when it comes out a little bit, you, can, you just have just enough to grab it and pull it out. And of course, then you have access to the top. Uh, so we're going to take this off and just put this aside. And, uh, and then we're going to uh, take the Corsair H110i and we're going to start mounting it into the, um, into the case. So the way this is going to mount into the case, and of course, since this is a larger system, we have this on the floor so that we can get better access to the top of it. But basically, for now, we're just kind of putting the system inside like this, and then bouncing it up like this, and then I have to start screwing in um, so that it can be uh, secured from the top. Now, Mr. Cameraman, you're, uh, you're kind of showing, I need you to show from the top here. So get up. Okay, so if you look here, all these holes nicely line up. Of course, there's a Corsair cooling system going into a Corsair case, so everything should line up nicely. Um, and then we have these these screws, which are the E screws in the in the uh, case. And of course, they come with little washers, so we're going to need to have the washers. And of course, the hardest part about this step is really um, holding everything at the same time. You're um, you're trying to uh, secure it. So that's really the hardest part. And then once you get a few of these screws in, it's going to be easy enough. So I'm just going to once again finger tighten once I get uh, okay. Once I get a couple of these in, it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm just finger tightening. I want this to be just secure enough so that I can, uh, you know, have a little more leeway I'm not trying to secure things. Because right now, there's, there, there goes one of the washers. That's something that would typically happen. We'll, we can retrieve that later. I'm going to get another washer. Um, hardest part once you can get because you're trying to secure something and uh, it's not terribly heavy but it's just a little bit awkward especially if you're doing this with one hand if you have somebody else helping this actually go pretty smooth okay so now I have two of those in the rest of this should go a lot smoother now so um, Okay, so just uh, to show you, we're using these E screws here with the little washers, and that's how we're securing it to the top of the case. Um, and so we're really, we, we got most of these finger tightened. We're just going to do this last one here. Okay. And then after that, it's really just a matter of using the screwdriver and tightening things down. And really here, you're just trying to secure it enough so that you don't get a lot of shaking. Uh, since you have the fans, uh, and that's a major source of noise for your system. Uh, securing them nicely will be uh, reducing the amount of noise that you have somewhat. Okay, so now that we got all the uh, screws tightened on top here, this is nice and secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, and this, we're just going to put the top of the case back on, and this kind of latches in from over here. And then we kind of gradually. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it fits in nicely, and then it kind of snaps in over here. So once that's in, then you're done. And then it's just a matter of, of um, looking at this over here. This case is overall slight, but it is big. It's a huge case. Plenty of room. And, uh, and you can see the, the fans are up here, and they will be bringing uh, cool air into the system and also 
um, circulating cool coolness for the CPU through this apparatus.